What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in to another episode of Florida Prison Talk. And we right back at you in the New York Department of Corrections via Rikers Island. It's the Florida Prison Talk, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the supporters and everybody engaging in the comments. Without no further ado, introduce yourself, bro. How y'all how you doing, um, fellas? My name is Raul, but they call me Macho Blast, and it's a pleasure of doing this interview. And I hope and pray through this interview that we get a better perspective of, of what's really going on. In my, in, in my perspective. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right. So um, we'll get right into it. That's how I do. I get right into it. What crime led you to the um, Department of Corrections? Murder. Okay. Um, talk about that. What happened? What's the situation? Um, make a long story short, um, my sister was dealing with this guy, and basically he put hands on my sisters. My brothers ran down on him put him in a coma, and right after that, my brothers went out of town. He had the key, but my brothers forgot to change the locks. So, make a long story short, he went in there, raped her. I took my brother's gun and killed him. So, that's how, that's how I did the 20. And how old was you at this time? 16. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So you get the murder, you get locked up. Where, where do you go, Rikers Island? Yeah, Rikers Island for four years, C-74. Okay, okay. And on your way to Rikers Island, when you knew you was going on that bus ride, was you nervous? Was you scared? Of course, of course. Everybody, everybody is a little scared, especially if they never was groomed for this. Like individuals that did DFY, group homes, it's, it's, it's a foundation how to how to do time and so forth and so on. Um, I was blessed not to face that adversity, but me being faced that adversity, I had to either do what I had to do or it is what it is. All right. And listen up for all the viewers listening, what he said earlier. He wasn't he wasn't a person that was going in and out of jail as a youngster. He wasn't going in and out going through all these programs. That was his first time in jail after the incident that happened. So this was all new to him. And now you're in, now you're in Rikers Island. And I'm telling you right now, the viewers, they want to hear the nitty gritty. They want to hear what goes on in there. They want to hear the stuff about the phones. They want to hear about the gang. This is everything they want to hear. So everything I'm asking you is stuff I know they want me to ask you. So how long did it take when you got to Rikers Island before trouble found you? And who is um, as soon as no like no no lie, the first time I went to C74, they got they got bullpens because it's an intake area. So in the process, you gotta see medical, you gotta get screening, whatever, whatever the whole process you gotta do. So a couple of dudes is looking at my sneakers, sizing me up. I thought it was like, oh shit, son got some sons on fleet. Right, but right. that wasn't the case. So right. I, I just, then they realized that I was an adolescent. They put a bell in there. So they separate, separated me in the bullpen with the adolescents because let's just say if I was in a bullpen with an adult and I'm an adolescent and something was to happen, that's a major lawsuit. So make a long story short, I guess into intake. Anybody that been on Rikers Island, um, you know, they got two top, one lower, two main, more four. So I goes, I believe into two main, they used to call it the house of pain. And I could say 95% of the houses is run by bloods at that time. So I goes in between the A and B gate. They asked me, Oh, um, what size you wear? I, I wear a 10, what, what, like, what's up? Right. So I goes in there, I goes to my cell, fix my cell up, go take a shower. 
As I'm putting soap on my face, somebody come behind me, put me to sleep. I'm out. Police Damn. come. They escorted me out. I go to intake. They used to call it the why me pins. Because people be like, oh shit, why me? I'm in here four or five days without a shower, not eating, you know, and, and it caused a lot of emotional sparks. So um, they moved me to another house. Before I moved to the other house, the guy in intake, the older Hispanic dude, he said, yo, bro, here, take this and get busy. What did he give you? A knife, a seven inch knife. He hmm. said, I, I said, I don't know how to use it. He said, look, you see how the string is wrapped up? Wrap it around your hand, wrap a towel on, on your other hand. So just in case somebody's trying to cut you, you can block it and do what you got to do. So as soon as they opened the A and B gate, I did what I had to do. I went to the box, I went to the bing. They call it, they don't call it the box, they call it the bing. I did a year and a half in the bing, came out, still going through the same shit. And then an older Dominican Patria dude, a Trinitario, that was an adult, he hearing about it. He's like, damn, who's this kid? He's a Dominican kid. Yo, what's going on? So the, ind the individuals that was in the adolescence that was Tenitario that, at, at that time, they the one that was giving me the breakdown. Now, um, first and foremost, I would like to shout it out to Indio, the one that you did an interview with. He's, he's, he's up there. I know who he is, but I never met him personally. You know, um, what he did say was a fact that the Trinitario did start in Attica and the body that a kid caught, his name is Chucky and they went behind the wall and then it formulated like that. And the only difference is between a Trinitario from out here and, and from out there and over here, out there they fought for the land. They fought for the soil. Over here we find it for our, our right, our right to use the phone, our right to do certain things, to progress, to, to show, loyalty to keep our flag our flag in high standards. So there was a um there was a, a group that formulated in the 1800s. It's it's called the Secret Society of La, La Trinitaria. It wasn't called Trinitario. It was called La Trinitaria 1838. That's the year that was formulated against the Haitian government. So we fought, we fought, we, we won independence on February 27, 1844. So our organization is based on that, on heritage, on history, because if you know where you came from, you know where you headed. So um, I, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. And niggas can't tell me, I don't, I don't care, second, third. I put mine in. And at the time, when it was the early 2000s, you had to get busy. Because in the max, it's only like 15, 20 bros. So out of 15, 20, you got 30, 40 niggas. So you got to get busy. So me, I, I'm on a different type of time. I'm going to hit the head because the whole body going to crumble. I'm on that type of time. But, you know, thank God, no cuts, no stab wounds. And I, I'm blessed. You and know, speaking of that, okay, you say no cuts and no stab wounds. And speaking of that, let me let me bring it back. Hey, bro, you, you broke it down good. You broke everything down good, especially to be at the age you are. Like, you know a lot about the history and everything. Salute, man. I'm saying that, okay. We speak about the knives and stuff like that, and you had to get busy and everything. Let's back it up a little bit back to Rikers Island when you said that you, you got busy with the knife. How was you feeling before you stabbed that person and, and walk the viewers through it, the situation? Did you sneak up on them? Did you catch them slipping? I was, yo, I was nervous. Right. My, my, my thing is like, damn, what happens if he could grab my hand and find a way to take the rope off? Because the rope is tight. So if you pull the rope, if somebody pull it, it's going to rip your skin. So I said, damn, what I got to do? So the first victim, he had a ponytail. He's on the phone like this. So I grab, 
As soon as they opened the A&B, I left all my property out there. I grabbed the money, shit, and hit it right in his neck. Blood started squirting everywhere. Police came. They escorted me out. And that, that's how that's how I, I, I became doing what I had to do. You know, it, it was I was scared. Right. But it's like riding a bike. You ride a bike, you're scared that you're going to fall. And then next thing you know, you start progressing. You start... It, it becomes it becomes easy. Mm, got you, got you. So before you got to Rikers Island, did you ever imagine that you'd be getting to the incident that you got into? No. Okay, okay. And the phones, man. Let's speak about the phones. Are the phones that big of a deal at Rikers Island? Yeah, because you got like sometimes 30, 40 people in, 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 in one in one block. Then you got the slap time. Some people they, they used to be like knock out for the slot, knock out for the lock out for the knockout. So you want that phone, you got that phone, so I gotta knock you out. I gotta put that work in for me to get your slot. So slots probably start from let's just say 6:30 all the way to 8:39. The last slot is nine. So you, you gotta put on. So the guy that did taught me, I was like, damn, I don't want to do it for myself. I want to do, I'm thinking about the future because I want to make sure when any Dominican or anybody that messed with the Dominicans, when they pull up, they had the right to use the phone. I didn't have that right. So I had to plant my flag and make sure it's like, it's situated. And that's what makes me a 157 in because I'm doing it for a whole, I'm not doing it just for me. I get visits every, damn near every visit. So it, it was nothing like I really need to use the phone, but I do use the phone. But at the end of the day, it's not only for me, it's, it's for the for the future. It's about, because what happens if, if I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't care about no phone. A bro come in, I, 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 might, I, I might get penalized because nigga, you here, you're doing this and you let people do that. You're not getting, Chicken is, is lit. Okay. People getting drumsticks. A drumstick. Mm. Like, come on, like, it's abuse. A lot of these organizations started against abuse, but then you're abusing. So I like to abuse the abusers. So when it's time, when it's time to go on go time, I'm the one in, in the front line. Because when I go, Whoever's left behind, I don't know, but I, we, we gotta make the we gotta make this example, and we gotta let niggas know it's not about that we better because we play with knives or we more crazy. It's about the respect. It's about if if, if, if it's like when you do good business, when you do good business, you gain respect. When you do bad business, you lose respect. Win, lose a draw, because. I'm not gonna believe what you say. I'm gonna see if you really like that. Right. Because you got people that's way tougher than me that pull a, a knife out faster than me, that'll stab somebody faster than me, but I, I gotta put on for mine. Sure. Because my loyalty is to progress, not to regress. Gotcha, okay. And before we go upstate prisons, I got one more question about Rikers. Since we were speaking about the phones, can you remember an incident that you got into over the phones? Yeah, I got I got a little incident. There was this little kid. There was a kid. He was a kid. Like I'm a kid, but he was trying to. Oh, because it goes like this: certain blocks, a lot of dudes is blood, a lot of dudes is land kings, a lot of dudes whatever. So they just say, God forbid, you was there. You from Florida. Florida niggas is pulling up. Day County, whole bunch of people pulling up. You're gonna put on for your town. Cause at the end of the day, guess what happens? If you leave your man niggas dead, they're gonna come looking for you when you hit the town. So no matter what beef you had, that's on the back burner. This is, we gotta stick together. So that's right. our main purpose is sticking together and growth and development. If we don't know nothing, teach each other and make sure that we all on the same page. Cause if we in a different page, we're not gonna go nowhere. And the reason we the best at what we do because we under one banner. 
It's not sets. You see how you got all these sets getting indicted? No, we under one banner. Like Indio, he was he he was there. So like a lot of people had to answer to him. A lot of people had to write him and say, "Yo, listen, this was going on." I, 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 and he'll give them the right instructions how to conduct and run in the public because we run by rules. So a lot of people know their rules or some people or some people is illiterate, they can't read.